Meghan Markle will take just six months maternity leave before returning back to work as a member of the royal family, an insider has revealed. Royal correspondent Katie Nichol revealed, after what should have been the Duchess of Sussex's last public engagement on March 11 when she attended a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey with the rest of the royal clan, she has already made plans to go back to work in October. Pregnant Meghan, 37 attended Canada House during what should have been the start of her maternity leave last week, and did so to honour the 50 victims of the New Zealand mosque attacks. Ems Nichol said the American will attend the One Young World Summit for Young Political Leaders on October 22. A Kensington Palace insider told Cosmopolitan, all being well with the baby, the timing is perfect for her to expand her Commonwealth work through this new One Young World partnership with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Meghan's short maternity leave stint challenges Kate's last year when the Duchess of Cambridge took a shorter amount of time off after having Louis. After six months, she was back working again, and highly commended for doing so. Kate's first engagement after having little Louis, who turns one next month, was a visit to the Sayers Croft Trust Forest School and Wildlife Garden at Paddington Recreation Ground. Meghan and Prince Harry's baby will be seventh in line to the throne and as a result will not have an official title when he or she is born next month. Though the official due date remains unknown. Betwee's Alan Alger said, Only a handful of people will know the long-awaited due date of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first baby, but the odds are suggesting we won't have to wait much longer with it as short as 1.50 for April to be the month. There is also much speculation on the name of the baby and Harry's mother's name. Diana is the clear favourite at 6-1, and has been very well backed over the past week, ahead of Victoria at 9-1. The Duchess herself revealed the date on a visit to Birkenhead earlier this year. Talking to one member of the crowd while at a royal event in the Wirral this January, she said she was six months pregnant. Yet the only official information from Kensington Palace confirmed the child would be arriving in spring.